Welcome to a video taking a look at trigonometry. Um, specifically, we are looking at finding a missing side on right angle triangles when you know an angle and another length. Okay, so here we are trying to look for this length here because we know the angle and we know one of the lengths. Okay. This only works on right angle triangles. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples of these. Now, what I need to remember here is that there are basically five steps that I need to follow. The first is that I need to label my triangle, then I need to tick across, choose a formula, substitute into a formula, and calculate my answer. And when we're talking about formulas here, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about soccer tower. So here I've got the three trigonometric ratios and all these are they're basically just like formulas and notice here because you won't be given this in the exam you won't be given these formulas at all you need to remember them notice that the middle letter from from each of so ka and toa the middle letter goes at the top of the formula so, so, O is in the middle, O goes on the top. In ka, A is in the middle, A goes at the top. And then toa, O is in the middle, O goes at the top. So, let's take a look at this example here. So, we're being asked to find the length of the side labelled X. So, we're trying to find how long is that side on this right angle triangle. So, let's follow the steps that are written down above. First of all, we need to label our triangle. Now, we just need to, what that means is we label the sides. So, first off, I'm going to label this side the hypotenuse. This is the hypotenuse, it is the longest side of my right angle triangle. The longest side is always the one that's opposite where the right angle is. So, that is my longest side. I call that the hypotenuse, and I'm just going to put an H to show that. Then, this side here, this side is opposite the angle that I've been given. So the angle that I've been given 34, the side opposite where this is, is over here. So I'm going to label that O. Then lastly, this side down the bottom, I'm simply going to label as A. That A stands for adjacent. It is the side that is not the opposite and not the hypotenuse. Another way to think of it is that it is the side that runs alongside the angle so it's the side that is touching the angle which is not the hypotenuse okay so that's the first step done second step is to tick or cross so what does that mean now all that that means is that I'm going to tick the sides of the triangle which have something next to them so what do I mean by that well what I mean is this side here, the O, that has four centimetres on that side. We know that this is an important part of our problem. So I'm going to tick it. The O is important to us. This H over here, this is important to us as well, so I'm going to tick it. This is important to us because it's the side that we're trying to find. It's got that X next to it. Now over here, the A, the A is all on its own. It hasn't got it's not important to us in this problem hasn't got a length next to it and it's not the side that we're trying to find so I'm going to cross that one out so that is my second step done now what that little step that we've just done there does that allows us to choose our formula so what formula are we going to choose based on what we've ticked and crossed here now the formula that we need to choose is simply the formula which has the letters that we've ticked in it. So I have ticked the O and the H. They are the things that are important to me in this problem. And so I need the formula which has O and H in it. I can see that that is going to be SO. So SO has got the O and the H. Ka has got A and H. So I don't want that one. Toa has got O and A. I don't want that one. I want the one with O and H in it because they are the ones that I have ticked. So I'm going to choose this formula here. 
So that's the third step done. Next I'm going to substitute into my formula. Now the way that I do this is I'm going to cover up part of my formula. The part that I cover up is always the part of the triangle that I'm looking to try and find. So we've been asked to find the length of the side labelled x. We can see here that the h, the hypotenuse, that is the side that we are trying to find. So the side that we are trying to find we cover up. So I'm just going to cover that up. Now that leaves me with these two here. Okay. Now the way that we use these is we are going to either if they are on the same level we multiply if they are on different levels we divide so I've got the opposite the opposite here I can see is 4 so I'm just going to write down 4 and I'm dividing that by this S now what does this S refer to the S refers to the sine of the angle, so sin of my angle which is 34. So I'm going to do 4 divided by sin 34. I've substituted into the formula. Now all that is left for me to do is to calculate my answer with my calculator. So typing this in, 4 divided by sin 34 that leaves me with an answer of 7.15 and that is my answer so 7.15 and we'll just put to, that was to three significant figures so three significant figures and so that is my answer. The length of the side labelled x is 7.15 centimetres to three significant figures. Job done. So let's take a look at a few more examples. So again I've got a similar problem. I'm trying to find the length when I've been given the length of a side and an angle. So labelling my triangle first, I can see that this side, this is my longest side, my hypotenuse the side that is opposite the angle is that one there and then the one that's left over is my adjacent first step done then I need to tick across so I'm going to tick the O because it's got something next to it tick the A because that's got 6 next to it H has got nothing next to it so I'm going to cross it out I then need to choose a formula so which formula am I going to choose well I've got O and I've got A so the formula that I need to choose is the formula with O and A in it. I'm going to choose TOA. Then I need to substitute into the formula. So substituting in, well again I need to cover um, one part up. So I need to cover up a part of this um, formula. What part do I need to cover up? I need to cover up the part that I'm looking for. So in this case, that is the opposite. So I cover up the opposite. And so what I'm left with is this T and the A. So the T, that refers to the tan of my angle, which is 50. So tan, 50. And because they are on the same level, I multiply them. So tan, 50, make sure you put that um, in brackets otherwise it may not work multiplied by the adjacent and the adjacent in this case is 6 so I've substituted into my formula all that's left is for me to now calculate it so I've got tan 50 so tan 50 multiplied by 6 and that has given me an answer of, again, 7.15 centimetres. And that is, again, to three significant figures. 
same answer as last time, a little bit of a coincidence, didn't really mean for that to happen. Um, but again, all that I've done, tan 50 times 6, that's given me an answer of 7.1523 significant figures. So the length there, that length of x, would be 7.15 centimetres. Okay, third example. If you think you've got the hang of this, what I suggest you do is pause it and, and have a go at this question and then press play uh, to see if you get it right. So, third example, again we're finding the length of the side labelled x. First thing that we're going to do is to label the triangle. So I've got the hypotenuse over here got the opposite there and then I've got my adjacent here first part done then I'm going to tick across the sides so tick the H because it's got the X next to it tick the A because it's got two next to it cross out the O so what formula I'm going to be choosing I'm going to be choosing the formula with A and H in it the formula with A and H in it is Ka so done the tick or cross, just chosen my formula. Now I'm substituting in. So substituting in, covering up the part that I am looking to try and find. The part that I'm trying to look at, try and find is the hypotenuse. So covering that up. That leaves me with my adjacent, which is two. Then divided by here I've got C. So that stands for cos of the angle which is 52 so typing this into my calculator 2 divided by cos 52 that gives me an answer of 3.2523 significant figures so it's 3.25 centimeters so what I could say is that my value for x would be 3.25 centimetres to 3 significant figures. Okay, final example. Let's work our way through this. So first off, labelling the triangle. I've got my hypotenuse over here. I've got my opposite over here. And then my adjacent here. So, first step done. Then tick or cross. So I'm going to tick the hypotenuse because it's got 10 next to it. I'm going to tick the adjacent because it's got the x next to it and I'm going to cross out the opposite. Now I need to choose my formula. Well I've got A and H so again I'm going to be choosing K because that is the formula with A and H in it. So formula is chosen. I now need to substitute into the formula. This time I am looking for the adjacent side. So I cover up the adjacent on my formula. I can see here that I've got C, so that means cos of my angle, cos of the angle which is 41 this time. And I'm multiplying that by the hypotenuse which is 10. Um, and just remember here I'm multiplying it because they're on the same level, I just multiply across. So cos 41 multiplied by 10, substituting this into our calculator, uh, cos 41 multiplied by 10, that gives us an answer of 7.55, so 7.55 centimetres, and again that's to three significant figures. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, it's, if we follow these five steps, it does, um, and, and if you get lots of practice at these five steps, it does start to, to make sense after a while and start to sink in.